Howdy folks, Charlie here from Christmas on Crestline. Thanks for tuning in and thanks for tuning in to a sale episode. There is an item on sale right now that if you have an animated Christmas light show, you might want to get it. You don't have an animated Christmas light show, you might want to get it. Stay tuned to the end of the video. We've got two neat, very neat uh, shout outs that we'll be doing in this episode. So stay tuned to the end to see if I'm talking about you. Christmas in July is coming up. Now I was gonna save this as a Christmas in July extravaganza topic, but at that point it'd be silly because the sale would be over. The way computerized Christmas light shows work, and I have a ton of new subscribers, a bunch of new viewers to Christmas on Crestline, Thank you all for being on board. Um, leave a comment down below to let me know how you're liking the channel, what uh, what you think of it. Uh, if there's any suggestions you have for me as a brand new, it's, I got new eyes on the show right now. Let me know what you think of the show. Uh, and for you new folks, the way a computerized Christmas light show works is first you get a song. What song do you want to do? Um, uh, Merry Christmas, we'll say. Jingle bells. Let's go with jingle bells. You want to put jingle bells, and you want to broadcast that out to your to your neighbors, to your neighborhood, as part of your animated Christmas light show. Well, you know what song you want to do. You put your lights up, okay? So you got your lights up on your house, and you have them all decorated how you want. What's the next thing? Well, you have to have a computer program that tells your lights when to come on and when to come off and when to blink at what intensity. Uh, you can use that as X lights is a big program. I use Prism. There's Vixen. There's a bunch of different uh, computer programs out there that tell your light what to do. Uh, the next thing is you need a controller box. For you, for us, we use the 40 channel controller boxes from Revival Control Systems. Uh, I'm not smart enough to know how to build it. I'm sure it's not that hard. I just not, have not taken the time to build my own, so I buy them pre-built. So your computer tells the control box when to have the lights come on and off. That control box, you have your lights directly plugged into that, and that controls the intensity of when they come on and come off. But how, do, how does your audience, how do they hear it? Well, you need an FM radio transmitter, and that's gonna be what we're talking about today. You can have your FM radio transmitter you can get it at Radio Shack, you can get it at Amazon, there's a ton of places to get it and you don't need a special one. Uh, they run anywhere from $50 to $150 and you get whichever one you, you're, you, you like and that you're interested in. But, and here's the caveat to that, and that's what we're going to talk about today. Uh, you have your radio cord that goes to your transmitter, uh, and if you just plug it in and that's it, you don't do anything extra special to it, you're going to have to be right in front of the house. I mean, we're parked dead center in front of the house in order to get the perfect signal. You go a few feet this way, static. Go a few feet this way, static. You need to boost a little bit, at minimum, boost your channel uh, signal. And how you do that is what we're going to talk about today. And the reason why I did this now in June rather than in July, because this is a double purpose event, uh, double, pur double purpose event purchase that is hard to say double purpose purchase double purpose purchase you try it at home i'll wait uh but ex telescoping flagpoles i have and i'll put a link in the description of this video below to the exact one that i have in case you want to use exactly what we have and you can go and you can watch the behind the scenes of a christmas light show we did last season and i think 15 16 minute mark you can kind of see where the, the flagpole comes into play in that show. Uh, what we do is we run radio wire, tie it to the top of the telescoping flagpole, and we put the flagpole all the way up. We have a 20 foot flagpole, and it is a tailgating flag telescoping flagpole. And so we are sports fans, and we used to tailgate a ton. And this is designed to go underneath the tire, uh, your wheel, your tire of your car, that keeps it stationary, that keeps it solid, and then you telescope it back up. The reason why we use this rather than a permanent flagpole is our show's controllers and everything is in the backyard. I don't want to put a permanent flagpole in my backyard because that's silly. For the rest of the year, this flagpole is just going to stay there. So what we do is we run the, the radio wire 
that act as a uh, booster or as a transmitting wire up the flagpole all the way up and that allows us to have about a five oh a five uh, house area where people can get a crystal clear signal for our uh, for the song that we have going out so you can be two to three houses down on either side of our house and get a clear signal about two to three houses away from that so now we're talking 100 feet away you can kind of get the signal you can hear what song it is you can tell what song it is but you're not going to get the crisp beats now for our show we had about seven thousand eight thousand well, between seven and ten thousand visitors um and we kind of gauge that by how many people use our our photo cutout uh, photo prop uh we had about seven thousand people use that last year not everybody uses it some people just stay in the car so we figured we had about 10,000 visitors last year in about a 45 day window. So you're gonna have a lot of people. We have tour buses, we have, we have lines of cars waiting to get in front of our house to listen to um, the show to see the lights uh, the, in the best vantage point. So we wanna make certain that these uh, radio transmissions are crystal clear and here's why. The first year we did, so we had this show going, we had a uh, tour bus, I'm sorry, it was the second year we did it. We had a tour bus come by and they did not have a radio in their car that they could get the precise dial. We use 100.7 is our FM channel and that they had one that could only scan for whatever reason. They didn't have one you could get that exact channel and just go to it. So if your radio transmission is not strong enough and you have a tour bus or a car or somebody on, on their phone using their phone app for the radio app and your signal isn't strong enough they can't tune in so it's kind of a waste of them being here the only other option you have is to put speakers out in front of your house and some people do that some people don't because they they're worried about theft but that is your only other option so we use a telescoping tailgating um, flagpole and like I said we, we run a radio wire up there it's on sale right now normally the one I use is a hundred dollars most times of the year right now it's 40 percent off it's 60 dollars i'm recommending you get it because it's i've had ours for eight years now and it works awesome beautifully there's a little bit of rust on there but i just scrape it off sand it down repaint it no big deal uh now i'm not getting a dollar from these people it's just it's the one i use i like it and i do not recommend anything that i don't use myself if i use it and i like it i recommend it i use it i don't like you like it i'm going to tell you that's one great thing about having a Christmas light show is I get to test products all year long and you may see me talk about oh, 15 to 20 percent of the things I test. I would do shows about things I don't like more often but then you'd probably just think Charlie never likes anything. You, the viewer at home, only get to see what I recommend. Uh, so yeah, check it out. I'll put a link in the description below. Said I don't, I'm not affiliated with it. I don't get a dollar. I don't get uh, any type of uh, affiliate fee or anything, I get nothing, zero dollars. I just like it, so you can try it out. But if you have a computerized Christmas light show or if you're going to get into that this year or next year, you know you're gonna do it, go ahead and buy it now uh, because even if you don't use it for what we use it for, which is boosting our radio transmission signal, um, guess what, you can still use it to put American flags up during 4th of July or whatever flag, whatever country you're in. If you're on Australia, I know we, for whatever reason, and I'm thankful for you, right now we are huge in Trinidad and Tobago. So get this, ship it to Trinidad or Tobago, throw it up uh, your Trinidad and Tobago flags. So I appreciate you guys watching from the other countries. That's awesome. If you're from another country and you're watching this, leave a comment down below. Just say hi if you like, but I, I like to get engaged with my audience members. Here's another thing. If you're not yet entered into the hashtag Christmas and July Fairs contest, do it. I'll put a description or I'll put a link right here for you to go to that video and just throw a comment down and say hi if you like. Um, but we have I think 565 entries just on my channel and there are 139, 140 almost other channels that are involved in it. When I got into it, I was the only guy and I was the 128th channel. Um, we might be at 140 channels actually, but it is a huge contest. So you're going to get win something from my channel. I'm gonna have two winners. One winner will then be uh, sent off to Dana's Wonderless Crochet, who is the the uh, the brain, she's the, the guru of this contest. She's gonna pick a grand prize winner. That grand prize winner wins something from all 140 other channels. It's huge. 
we are we're all going to send something to you now the way i'm picking mine just to remind you if you haven't watched that video yet just then i'll tell you right now uh we're going to pick one comment through the alexa app i'm saying alexa pick a random number between one and 600 she didn't hear me so she's she'll say 300 well, then I just have to spend the time and count to the 300th comment. I'm gonna count. I'm gonna, I'm gonna count twice to ensure that I got the 300th comment. Make sure I got that one right. And then I'm gonna pick the comment that just a random comment that I like, something that made me laugh or smile, or I thought that was whimsical, or that was polite, that was kind. Just pick a comment that I like. So then one will be heads, one will be tails. I'll take my challenge coin. I'll do a better job flipping than that. I'll take my challenge coin and I'll say your heads and uh, Tommy's tails. So your heads, Tommy's tails, oh, heads. So you just won. So you're gonna go on to be my grand prize winner. I'm sorry, you're gonna go on to the grand prize uh, contest through Dana's channel. And then we'll all watch Dana's channel to see who the grand prize winner is. And I'm, I'm, I'm be awesome, I'd be thrilled if my channel's winner was the grand prize winner, oh, that'd be awesome. That'd be cool. Um, so yeah, check out that contest. If you're not in it, just go to the video. Say say a quick hi. How you doing? Or whatever you want to say. I'm not picky. Just say hi. Say, hey, I like your channel. Hey, I don't like your channel. Hey, why are you wearing a Christmas in July shirt when it's not July yet? Well, it's because I like it. That's why. Um, let's get to the shout outs today. First shout out. And I was going to say this because I have a very cool, in my last, in, the, in July's last week, uh, is when I had this scheduled to come out. And it is, well, it's how to build a reindeer. I'm just going to tell you right now, it's how to build a reindeer. Um, but the guy who, and you know who I'm talking about because I know you're watching, uh, the guy who designed the reindeer initially is now a Patreon supporter. How awesome is that? Um, I was going to save his Patreon shout out because he's our brand, he's our newest uh, Patreon member. I was going to save it to July, but my wife's like, don't do that. You, he's going to get his own shout out in that video because you're copying what he did. You're with, with permission, I might add. Uh, but Darren Enzyme, Darren Enzyme is our newest uh, Patreon member. So if you're not a member of Patreon, check us out. Support the show if you like. You don't like the show, then don't support us. No big deal. But Darren Enzyme is our newest um, is our newest Patreon member, and Darren has a daughter who just graduated from college, just got her four year degree. Now Darren is a guy who did something I've only ever seen done in movies. And let me know in the comments what you think about this because I think it's phenomenal. Um, for his daughter's graduation present. He got her a new car, and when she came outside, the new car had one of those giant bows on it, like movie movie style. I've only ever seen that in movies before. <laughs> Woo! Darren, you're setting the bar high for us, man. My goodness. Uh, but Darren is a longtime friend of the show, does a ton for us. Uh, we are very grateful for, to Darren. Um, if, you, if you're a longtime fan of the show, you know exactly who Darren's at, who Darren is. And if you're not a long time fan of the show, you'll get to know who Darren is as you watch more videos. But very thankful for Darren for being a supporter of the show. That's awesome. Uh, check out the, the uh, telescoping and tailgating flagpole. Um, if you use another idea that I haven't thought of to boost your FM transmitter, let me know. Uh, put it down in the comments below. I sure appreciate it, guys. I'm Charlie. That's my dishwasher. I'll see you guys in the next episode.